Mr. Locus, your fourth appointment is here. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Seurat. You're making history. Am I? Well, aside from engineering publications, I haven't done many interviews. Guess some people aren't as interested in the inventor as they are in his invention. It is a pretty useful device. <laughs> Gordon Locus. Jill Sarah. Please sit. I gotta say, I am really happy it is you that I'm talking to today. And my paper is grateful to be talking to you as well. No, 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 no. I, I mean, it's been a long time. Have we met before? Uh, well, sure. Right? I think I would remember you, Mr. Locus. I'd imagine so as well. Here, just look at me. Give it a minute. Mm, maybe it was a party? Which in and of itself would be rare because I don't get out much. Huh. I suggest we start the interview. Married to the work, huh? The work is consistent. Never disappoints, Mr. Locus. Where's the notepad? You know, maybe I was mistaken. In which case, nice to officially meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, Gordon Locus, futurist and inventor, creator of the hyperdrive engine. I stand guilty, yes. Where did it all start for you? Where I started. <laughs> hmm. You're remembering something. Well, actually, I'm remembering someone at the beginning, 25 years ago. It was a beautiful day above the planet Lorda, my home. Ow! Damn compositor fuses. Knew we should have gotten a joist to do this part. Okay, we're good to go. I think. The ship wasn't meant for interstellar travel, only orbital. So I don't know if the safeguards I installed will keep us stable. Maybe you should have invited someone more experienced to do this. Don't sell yourself short, you're a wonderful assistant. <clears throat> you know, down below, I could legally trade you with passing pilots. I always hear that Zabrax love to eat younger brothers. It's not story time, Jordy, it's test time. How far up are we? Just entering Lorda's exosphere. We have 50 civilian ships in orbit, and, oh, 90 company cruisers. Charter. So they're definitely going to spot us. Yeah. How's the, what'd you call it? Hyperdrive. Right. Is it ready to test? Still connecting to the ship's interface. I'd say it's about 80% done. Court, look, be honest. You told me it would be fast, but really? How fast are we talking? Are you nervous? It's just, there's a difference between naming it light speed and actually going that fast. Uh, we do have seat belts. <laughs> <laughs> this is the personal log of Gordon and Jordan Locus. We'll be testing our new invention, the hyperdrive. A means of traveling from one end of the galaxy to the other within hours instead of years. This will be done by making the jump to light speed. We'll be starting with a round trip to the famed planet of Yavin, back to Lorda in hopefully one piece. We predict this trip should take about, mm, Jordan, what do you think? Yeah, about, about 45 minutes. Wow, this is... What? I was always scared. Scared? that I wouldn't be able to provide for you. 
with mom and dad gone. We kept moving around. I had to become a man for you. But here you are. Making a future. Literally building it. For everyone. You're a genius, Gord. Jordan. Ah. Before you get mushy, let's make the jump to... <laughs> Light speed. <laughs> Anything you say, big brother. Oh boy, they found us. Stay quiet. I'll handle this. This is the Commissioner Pike of the Charter Corporation's Interstellar Cruiser, serial number 400342-XB. We've scanned your shuttlecraft and no identification has been found within our flight records. What is your heading? Keep working. <clears throat> yes, this is uh, the new ship. We're testing it out for stability readings before we have to make interplanetary deliveries. Well, as a delivery boy, you know very well that all Lorda vessels must be registered and approved before any and all flight processes. As a penalty, you will turn over your ship to the Charter Corporation. We're sending a landing party now. Oh no! You don't want to do that. And why not? Uh... We just had a whole cleaning crew of Mon Calamari's on board. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Counterintuitive. It's very slippery over here. Wait a second. Our sensors are picking up unusual energy signals from your ship. Who is this? Uh, okay. He's going to find out right away that I put him on hold. We have to get out of here fast. We're at 99%. Sorry about that. Must be some sort of astral interference. You will turn over your ship immediately or face countermeasures. Let's see how you fare against 54,000 degrees of plasma bolts, Republic scum. Republic? Mr. Roth has dealt with plenty of spies from your newly founded government. Now, you can die like the rest, or you can live to see that democratic heap of scrap once again. What was its name? <laughs> ah yes, Coruscant. They're surrounding us, Gord. We gotta go right now. We're good to go. No? You got it, kid. Oh boy. I will give you from the count of three to power your ship down. First test of the hyperdrive in... One... Two... The stars. They're stretching. Three... Fire! And then a year passed. I was alone. Wandering on the traitor planet nearby, Moriden. Good morning, fine merchants of Moriden. Not only is it a beautiful day in Trader's Paradise, but the forecast is just as alluring as well. Smog's just cleared enough that we can see our sister planet, Yavin, which, as we all know, provides many of our skippers with the hope of a safe and stable rest during their harrowing travels delivering goods throughout the galaxy. Before we get into our main stories, this new cast is brought to you by the Charter Corporation. We'll be back after these quick messages.
Hmm. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you. I was hoping. I don't speak that. Um, uh, cantina. Late for meeting. Tilmash Cantina. Know where it is. Right, that way. Our first segment is an interview with the newly established CEO of the Charter Corporation, Mr. Augustus Brock. Thank you so much for joining us. Anything for an essential planet in our registry. We've heard some reports of recent layoffs at Charter. Mr. Roth, any truth there? I'm afraid so. I wish my former employees the best, but we believe that our automated workers are not only the future of space travel, but the safer option. A company entirely manned by droids? Nothing is impossible for us at Charter. <laughs> Mr. Roth, people want to know. The rumors have been going on for a year at this point ever since that leaked drone footage of a ship above the planet Lorda disappearing. Everyone's question, is Lightspeed possible? Huh? Well, as was stated when that footage was spread through the galaxy, thanks by the way to our state-of-the-art charter-linked satellites, we have maintained that this leak is nothing more than a hoax. So, Lightspeed, not possible? Bastards copyrighted the name. Now, I never said that. Technological innovation is not annual. The time for breakthroughs come when they do, that's the reality. However, we have brilliant engineers at Charter Corporation, the same ones who modeled our cruisers, crafted our AI pilots and our stasis beds. I hire geniuses. So when light speed is a reality, you'll know because we announced it. And surely this invention would change the face of transport in the galaxy. Not just transport. Our galactic culture. Planets are just getting to know each other. First, it started with our telescopes. After, we sent drones out into space. And finally, we reached some level of interstellar travel. We are light years apart from each other. Some orders of simple binary fusion tools made centuries ago are still on their way to be delivered. Families that want to move from one planet to another have to be put in stasis so they can make the trip. We are talking about a form of travel that would unite us in a way that this new government, this Republic of Coruscant, couldn't control. Lightspeed, I promise you, is our top priority because it is everyone's. Thank you for your time, sir. That was Mr. Augustus Roth. After the next break, we'll be back with College Nuna Ball and Draft Picks. Ugh. Took the order down 90 years ago. <laughs> hey, it's coming from Felucia. What do you want? <laughs> nice. Excuse me. <laughs> what do you have? I I'm looking for someone. Uh, Skipper? Only thing I have are his initials. DP. Do you know his name? What do you have? Come on. <laughs> You're looking for Port. He's over there at his booth. That corner over there. <laughs> <coughs> hey, you. Yeah, yeah, you. What do you have? Uh, Mr. Port? You're something different. What? You're the contact because you're also something different. I sit in a bar, one with killers and thieves, people who do anything to get a better job than the guy they're buying a drink for. 
Especially if that guy's me. But I'm relaxed. Know why? Because of all the drinks I bought you? <laughs> they have records, and the metal part of me can get into Charter's database while I scan them. Records, fight history, lethal levels. I know everyone, except you. You came in, and I drew a blank. No records, no fight history, nothing. As if someone was smart enough to erase themselves. You're a cyborg. That a problem? Don't know yet. <laughs> Duncan Port, Skipper. Heard through the Jogan Vine that you were looking for a discreet transport. But I never got a location. I'm headed to the planet Tython. Tython? That's in the Deep Core. What's your business there? Is that relevant? <laughs> Kid, if you need a box of fruit shipped over there in a timely fashion, it's relevant. I need to get there in a timely manner, right? Now, am I taking you in a box of choco berries or something else? I... I heard about a junk over there, okay? I have something I need junked. Do you know what planet you're on? There are hundreds, thousands of junkers in this sector alone. Not like the one on Tython. Hmm. Okay. Tython. Long trip. But uh, top speed, you'd be in stasis for about 10 to 15 years. Is that a problem for you? No, but the price just went up. 50,000 units. What? It can't be that dangerous. It's not the trip. It's you. If you're willing to erase yourself from Charter's database, you did something to them. You're on the run. Aren't you? See, kid? That's why it's 50,000. What'd you do? Steal something? I didn't steal anything. They're after me because I made something. Something that they want. And I said no. But of course, they don't take no for an answer. So yeah, I'm on the run. But I'm not interested in laughing with you or getting to know each other. I have a job. Are you taking it or not, machine? What did you make? What the hell? Hmm. Gordon Locus. What? Looks like I can scan you now. Charter's put out a warrant for you. What? units? Oh no. You must have made something real special, kid. Look at this. I've never met a fugitive worth 175k that was dumb enough to come to a place like this. Uh, um, you are? Reza Malkish, lower tier bounty hunter. Lower tier? <laughs> Unlike you, Port, I just caught the biggest score in the room. Oh yeah? How do you fellas feel about that? 175k all to Reza? You sure you're alright with that? You think my boys will turn on me? Now, boys, we can make a deal. Get him! Oh shit! Come on, kid. You idiots! He's getting away! Keep up! I'm right behind you! If last season was any indicator, THX's pitching skills have either been forgotten or a type of malware has been installed, but... This just in. The Charter Corporation has put out a statement regarding a possibly dangerous individual named Gordon Locus. <laughs> oh, come on! He's charged with conspiracy and theft. A warrant has been placed with the appreciation of 175,000 Charter units. It's... it's... it's not true, it's... Gotta keep moving! Please stay away in the presence of children. They went that way! Oh. 
stop right there. Give us the kid, poor. Don't have time for this. You... You shot them! If we don't keep moving, I'll be shooting more. Come on! Just past this door. And there she is. This is my ship. Welcome to Charter Corp's Cruiser Class, designation 3476BH. I just call her Wayward. How soon can we get to orbit? Ah, uh, about five minutes. Maybe ten if I hack the doors to this hangar to lock. Get inside. Put your seatbelts on. Wayward entrance unlatch. Doors 4 through 24, you're mine. Kid, wayward entrance latch. Kid? Yeah. This thing's nearly three stories. Where's access to the bridge? The elevator, here. The stasis engine is going to have to charge. I'll give you a bed and put you to sleep when we're well away from this place. Fine. Maybe they'll forget you in a decade, kid. That's what happens for most people moving to a different planet. Look, we're on a tight schedule, so I may need some help getting this out of here. Do you have any experience flying- Just activate any deflectors that are linked up and give me access to the coolant monitors for the engines. Everyone's going to be on top of us, so I'm raising shields. This thing have any firepower? Uh, yeah, for possible asteroid collisions. Automatic cannon projectiles, three in the front, three in the back. All right. The back ones are activated. Are we leaving anytime soon, or what? Hmm. <laughs> Let's get moving. Activating backdoor cannons. Stasis engines hit. Shields will have to recharge by 46%. They clipped my baby's wings. You're turning us around? Right for them. Are, are, are you malfunctioning or something? I take care of my ship. Where are you all going? He's fluffing! He is bluffing, right? Port, this is... What do you... This is not... Kid, when I say open the septic doors, you open them. What? It's a big ship. Had a lot of guests. I'd be surprised at how many leave the seat down. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. 
ready when you are. He's not gonna do it, he's not gonna do it, he's not gonna do it, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. <laughs> Now! Septic doors are locked. <laughs> yeah! Are you out of your mind? Like, actually, seriously, are you out of your mind? Mind! <laughs> Woo! Damn. Oh, is that corn? Risk. Risk. You need a drink. Stratosphere, thermosphere, exosphere. Wait a minute. What? Where were the police while all of this was happening? Well, Charter sent out a squad on Meriden's stratosphere. Luckily, Duncan was able to hack into their local registry and falsify the wayward serial number. Don't ever let them tell you cyborgs aren't worth something. And your bounty was 175,000 Charter units? Well, after that little stunt with the septic doors, the planet's janitorial center was on the job for weeks. So, it was bumped up to 200k. Seemed fair. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, you're not easy to make laugh. That's why most people don't try. Uh, someone must have cracked you. At least once. Where are you from, Mr. Ra? I'm from Dressel. Have you been there? Well, not exactly. I've heard of it. You know, I researched you a bit before this interview. Not in a weird, you know, way or, or anything like that. I just read some articles of yours. Also, the poetry. I love that. You read that? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sands and shells. My before people are hands that were held. Now the past is buried under Dressel's damned I help. know my work, Mr. Locus. So this is what Duncan had to do with- After you escaped Meriden, did you tell him about the hyperdrive? No, no. At that point, I wasn't laughing either. That was exciting. However, we do have a problem. What are you doing? What's it look like? Looks like my blaster in your hand pointed at me. I'm sorry, did I miss something? You charged me 50000 to take me to Tython. And now there's a bounty on me, probably worth more than 175 k That same bounty is going to reach other sectors thanks to their satellites and linked probes. Right. And I'm just going to take you to them, before anyone gets the chance. 175 is much more than 50,000. Don't act like you know the first thing about me, kid. All I know is you're in this for the money, and your part charter. Yeah, I recognize the work on your arms. Your face. Yeah, they did this to me. But think about it, kid. Leaving Meriden, we passed 58 cruisers and 41 patrol ships. Wouldn't I have turned you in, or at least tipped them off? You can check the comm logs yourself. Nothing. Not good enough. I hacked into Charter's Android net and cut myself off from them. No serial number, no activation codes. Nothing. Know why? Because I don't like them either. Now, put down the blaster. I'm not going into stasis. Well, finally, something we can agree on. The stasis engines are damaged. What? That. First. Blaster. 
Thank you. Now come with me. You went with him. How did you know he wasn't going to knock you out or pull the blaster on you? Honestly, I didn't, but we were dead in the water. It was either go with it or get used to my new home for the next 10 to 15 years. Smell that? Oh, mm. yep. Yep, I smell it. Oh. Those are the stasis engines. As you can see, there's blaster damage from Reza's gang. I put a patch on them, retaining 37% of the fuel and suspension data, but it's not enough. If I put you under, you'd wake up maybe a third of the way to Typhon. And this ship isn't meant for humanoids to live on. You do? Yeah, but as you like to bring up, I'm part machine. My CPU's been very kind to me. Kept me going for a long time. The nearest sector is five days away at top speed. They probably have thousands of junkers who can destroy whatever it is you made. I don't trust anyone to destroy it correctly, especially around here. Pirates, mercenaries, charter. This needs to be destroyed, not scrapped, destroyed. All right, it's time for you to tell me exactly what it is you brought on my ship, Kim. That's not happening. Well, okay, well then, get comfortable. Because unless you have a way of getting us to Typhon on your schedule... And, uh, there is a way. What was that? There is a way. Spatial radar indicating four charter vessels approaching Militant class. What the... from somewhere else. Mr. Lokas, we've not formally met. However, I have nothing but respect for you and your ingenuity. So much so that my offer to buy the schematics for the, you call the hyperdrive, has increased. That's sweet of you. I agree. Here's my offer. You transmit over the schematics through this channel, and my four warthogs don't blast Mr. Ah, yes. Port ships seven times over. Generous. But that's not all. I will also withdraw the galaxy-wide warrant on you. I will give you... 60 seconds to consider. We have to get out of here. What the hell is a hyperdrive? It, it's what I made. He cannot get his hands on it. What is it? It's... It's my... He just can't have it. Why? We're out of options. If you give these schematics to him... Maybe he will almost certainly kill us. Talking to them may buy us some time. Are, are you kidding me? Weren't you just saying that you hated these guys? We're outgunned, kid. Look, you don't know what the implications of Roth getting this are, so... Is that my fault? <sighs> Look at the map. No sector around. No planet to hide in. Not even an asteroid field. Only a wormhole 4,100 kilometers away. If we're not talking to them, we're going to have to shoot our way out. And then... Wait. The wormhole. That's it. We'll use that. What? A wormhole is a bridge between one point of space-time to another, right? Hypothetically. That's gonna have to be good enough. I hope you have good news for me. Stand by for transmission. Wise decision, Mr. Lowe. Locus, this is a terrible plan. The pressure that's going to be put onto the Wayward is going to crush us. Which is why I'm transferring the leftover suspension data from the stasis engines to the ship's main shields. It should help us, well, stay us. Again, hypothetically. Look. Look. I've been here before. And last time... They don't negotiate. And you know that. We live, you're telling me what a hyperdrive is. <laughs> Deal. New course heading established. 
4,100 kilometer designation confirmed. You focus on the turrets? I'll fly in there. Not a scratch. Here we go! Subjects are moving. Warthogs 3B, 3-3 in pursuit. They always run. They're coming. We're now 3,200 kilometers away from the wormhole. Great. Lethal force approved. My ship. Rear cannons aimed and firing. Warthog D destroyed. Defining fire. That can't be good for the shields. Dexus energy is depleting. 24% availability. How far are we from this damn hole? 2100 kilometers. Damn! Shields at 17%. Subjects nearing forthcoming. Wormhole. Accelerated firepower. Recommended. Wait. Wormhole? They're headed to a wormhole? Affirmative. Warthogs 3B, C, and D are designated to stop pursuit and record subjects escape. I want to see this. They stopped firing. They stopped everything. Good. 800 kilometers away. 500. This is the personal log of Captain Duncan Port. 300. We're about to enter a wormhole. If anyone finds this, just know for the record, I have a bad feeling about this. 100! Entering warm hole! Wait. Really? Yep. Can't believe it. I shouldn't believe it. It's just... insane. I felt the same way. Especially during... How did it feel in there? Inside the wormhole. Hmm. Have you ever been in a back to tank before? For surgery or anything like that? Once. When I was little. Right before I left Drizzle. Well, it was a lot like that. Only without the water. What about Charter? Did the drones follow you in? No, no. But Roth was fed the footage all the way to his own little planet of Typhara. He became inspired. Play it again. Affirmative. Subjects nearing forthcoming. Wormhole. Accelerated firepower. Recommended. Wait. Wormhole? They're headed to a wormhole. No, forward. As they're going in the wormhole. Affirmative. <laughs> Mad men. Subjects pronounced dead. Self. Termination ideal cause. No. Subject ship had suffered considerable damage prior to escape. The odds of survival are 432,500,766 to 1. No, he went in there because he found a different solution, I'm sure of it. The provided evidence does not support your hypothesis. Their craft was damaged and their stasis engines were depleted of energy. Not even their weapons were sufficient. Wait. Their engines? Stasis engines were depleted. Remaining energy was transferred elsewhere. We want the footage. <laughs> there, stop. Zoom into the ship just entering the wormhole. Aha, see that? Right as the vessel enters the wormhole, a quick blue energy burst surrounds the ship. 
correlation? He used what little stasis energy he had to protect themselves from inside of the wormhole. They're alive. Hypothesis. Accepted. Solution. Map out known wormholes in Charter. Database. Monitor with war vessels. No, no. If they're alive, they will come out of that wormhole anywhere or anyone. We can't afford to keep the war vessels out in the open indefinitely. Especially if the Republic isn't supposed to know about them. Send our satellites near all known wormholes with port ship in mind. Affirmative. As for Operation June, requesting next course of action. Connect me to one of our drones on Maridon. There's someone there that I'd like to meet. <laughs> and then port opens the. <laughs> and then port opens the doors, and a flood of plastic trap covers the ass <laughs> <sighs> oh, he's in that booth right over there. Lereza, come have a drink with the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you clean up nice. <laughs> Very funny. Machine. Is that you, Port? <laughs> Incoming transmission. <laughs> Mr. Markish, I'm Augustus Roth. Pleased to meet you. What? <laughs> I get that a lot. Forgive my absence. I have pressing business that must be attended to on Tyfera, where I'm calling from. But I just needed to speak with you. Oh, lucky me. Mr. Markish. I'm here for information about your friend, Duncan Port. Port. Friend. <laughs> ah, Port. I've heard he... hurt you? Hurt? I almost had him. I understand. No, no. You don't. You're... you're up high. King! I've never been where you've been. Never a bad day in your life. Not like me. I hear you're from Ruzan. Me too. Hmm. On Ruzan, I had a son. He was... <laughs> he had this smile. Made you want to work hard so he wouldn't have to grin in a small shack. He deserved a future, so I got a job as a carpenter. Thought it would be enough. It wasn't. What's that mean, robot man? I was offered a small part in a heist. Big cut. And I took it. Blah 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 were found out during the job and I'm sent to a Ruzan mining camp for four years. <sighs> what about the kid? My, my son was ordered away from me. Sent to Coruscant. But on the way, there was a, an asteroid collision. The bastards never saw it coming. My son died. Those very same men who ordered my boy be taken helped build the Republic. Never stood trial unlike me. Oh, sons of bitches. Mm. After my sentence, I worked my way up in Charter. Now I'm a rich man. Power. Technology. Justice. It's finally possible. Why are you telling me this? Because you are my kin. And I see potential in you. The Republic imports. Don't. They don't. None of them. These friends of mine. They never cut me a break. I'm not good enough. This is your chance. Where is Duncan taking the boy, brother? <sighs> they said they were going at Tython. 
Tython. Thank you, Reza. I promise you, I will get them. Wait, I I can help. I can hurt poor Enya Republic. I, I promise. <laughs> kid's name. His name was June. Flight stability at 17% integrity and dropping. Did you slow my ship down? We literally just got shot out from a wormhole. I'm doing what I can! Use the forward thrusters! What, and use up the fuel? We'll be stranded in the middle of space! Kid! Forward thrusters activated. Wayward engines cooling down, ship at full stop. Oh, shit. It's alright. Let it out. Wasn't using that corner anyway. I'm fine. Right. Well, we're alive. Luckily. No, not buying that. It's you. You're a genius. Don't call me that. Alright. I'll take a look at the navigational transmitter. Oh no. What? Well, let me put it this way. We're not any closer to Tython. How far did we end up? Four and a half parsecs away. about 14 and a half light years away. Of course. <laughs> but that's not the immediate problem. What is? You should probably sit down. Port. It's been about... 13 years, 5 months, 12 days, 3 hours, 42 minutes, and 7 seconds. Okay. Kid. Sure. Longer trip now. Okay. Kid. We can make it. We can make it. Oh god. Jordan, what am I doing? Gordon! Sit down. Okay? Breathe. Figure it out. Status on wayward engine stability? Stasis energy completely depleted. Wayward engines at 9% efficiency. Nearby planets? Nearest inhabitable planet, Cotelier. 3,298 kilometers west of present position. Cotelier? So, we're in the outer rim. Great. So we could probably just make it to the planet and get repairs. But Tython? I'm not so sure. Why? Look, I've put some miles on this ship. But we're talking about 14 light years with a warrant on us. And whatever this hyperdrive is, it's clear they don't plan on giving it up. It'll be decades of you asleep while I'm driving us under constant fire. Maybe. 
Maybe not. What? <sighs> Damn it. If you can get us to Cotelier Garage, you'll find out what a hyperdrive is. Charter Satellite 42F on notice. Unregistered charter cruiser detected. On course to Cotelier. Transmitting. Available data to Thyfera. Ah, uh, so Kathy and Herbal Tea. Here you are. I said I was alright. Trust me, drinking this will make the rest of my story digest easier. Not even a chuckle, okay? When you were headed to Cotelier, why didn't you tell Duncan exactly what the hyperdrive was? Had he earned your trust yet? <laughs> if only I knew. I'm sorry? <clears throat> I was scared. That's how we are at that age. But now I know sticking with him was a good call. Why is that? We're headed to the planet in a nearly dead ship. Neither of us think that we're going to make it. But as I'm looking, and Contelier gets closer, I saw them. Who? My inspiration. A school of Pergil. What's a Pergil? It's a whale creature that travels through the galaxy. Naturally, it can make the jump to light speed all on its own. A uh, whale? Yeah. On Lorda, my brother and I would spot them, swimming in the sky. It's what inspired us to create the hyperdrive. Oh my god. What? I've seen those before. It was when I was little, on Dressel. I ran away. Why? There was a family, a rich family that wanted to take me in, save me for my life. I don't understand why you'd run. I had family on Dressel. Other younglings had no home. And I sat in the sand, digging my heels, and then I just saw them up in the sky. Beautiful. The suns got me. As I was passing out, they dissipated into the sky. I always thought they were a hallucination. I woke up in the ship, crying as Dressel got smaller. You never went back, did you? My uh, parents said that they would take me to see them again, but I knew they were lying. And as I grew up, I can help but feel guilty for making it out yeah <sighs> I'm I'm sorry Don't this be. is your we interview take a break if you want <sighs> no 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 I'm okay that is good <laughs> now uh, where was I Please, let me pay you. You've been too kind. At least, let me help gather your crops. Dinner's at six, and I doubt our host will let you eat it in his barn. I'm already a mess in here. Surprised you understood him? Not hard. Just downloaded Catelier's alphabet from the local net. Alright, now coat the new engine's reaction chamber with a thin layer of coaxium. Don't overflow it. We don't have that much to spare. Might be <laughs> hey, and be careful when pouring! Coaxium? 
What is that, like a Meriden brake pedal? Coaxium is dug up mainly from Kessel. We're lucky this planet has a few mines of their own. What's it do? Well, the coaxium will help push this new hyperdrive, i.e. the wayward, into hyperspace. It's very powerful stuff. All you need is a drop. And why does the droid need to be careful when pouring it? Hello? Uh, well, it, you know, it's in its raw status. It can be volatile. Volatile? Yeah, it, it needs to be kept at a normal temperature before entering the engines. Why? Kid! It... It could explode. Are you okay? I'm just... Working it out. So, my ship, this one, right here, will be able to make the jump to light speed with your hyperdrive once it's done being installed along with this coaxium that can explode. Yeah, if, if not kept at a stable temperature. Yeah. Right. This explosion, how big? You'd rather not know. Or who knows, maybe it's smaller than what you're picturing. Did you just make a joke? <laughs> no. That's the first time you've kind of smiled since this road trip started. Longer than that for me. And why is that? <laughs> I don't know, man. Might cost me 30 more units. Come on, kid. That at the bar was just for show. The amount of people I've ferried from one planet to another. If I was being paid properly, I'd just be making 50,000 units. And those trips were all because of the goodness of your heart. No, I got some money for fuel. But... I know firsthand what Charter is willing to do to get what they want. Your medal? Seventy years ago, Charter was developing cyber pilots. One day they came to Corellia, where me and my wife lived, knocking on everyone's door, demanding volunteers. I said no, so they took her. Tried saving her. Then it was my turn. What happened to her? Charter, um... Tried implementing Carmen. That was her name. Her mind into a... Human and droid hybrid. But... They weren't compatible. She was tossed away. Sorry. Yeah. But that's why, kid. Charter chooses random people to test on. And when they run, they come to me. And I... do my best. I lost my brother. Is that Jordan? When did he die? About a year ago. That's rough, kid. Had to go out. These are the schematics for the hyperdrive. Hypermatter particles. Hypermotivator. This is incredible. You want to go to Tython to destroy this? Once we get there, we'll uninstall the engine from your ship and take it to the scrapper. Gordon, wait. I've been a skipper for a while now, okay? I've seen families ripped apart because they needed to run and they knew they would never see their loved ones again just because of the time it takes to get from one planet to another. Don't you see? Of course I do. Then why take this away when it can do some actual good out there? Because it can do just as much bad. And in Roth's hands? Don't give it to Roth then. Give it to... I don't know, the Republic. Oh, oh yeah, right. Problem solved, dude. They could at least use it to help people directly. Make first contact with planets that are only stars for us. The Republic is young, which means they are more likely to take an offer from Charter for the device. You didn't? Kid, this isn't me being naive. This is me seeing it for years. Children leaving their parents on a planet that they are being hunted on, waking out of stasis in a new world, finding out that their mom or dad are long dead. What you made won't just save time, Gordon. I'm sorry, okay? I am. 
Wheels up at dawn. I missed dinner that night. I just walked the plains a while. I came back to prepare the wayward for the next morning. But I saw Duncan in the garage. He was whispering to the ship. He called it Carmen. Then I thought the ship's voice, a woman's. Duncan never told me, but I understood. And then the next morning. Again, thank you. Sure thing. What'd he say? Said to keep you safe. Just escaping Catelier's orbit. Hyperdrive is set up and primed. You ready to go? Got my seatbelt on. Coaxium belt. Coaxium belt integrity maintained. Oh, God, thank you. Stardate's the same. Holy shit. 5,637 kilometers from current destination. Destination? Destination, Tython. <laughs> we made it! Get! We made it! Second thoughts? No, no, no. Tython route engaged. Were you having second thoughts? All I could think of at that moment was the whole year before. You were reflecting. Surprisingly. Yeah. Scanners are picking up 14 colonies below. Borderline agrarian. Fields, crops, a couple starports. We should park in... this plane. 3,600 kilometers west. Did you pick up any charter transponder? Nope. Looks like we're in the clear. Finally made it, kid. Where dreams come to die. So, which way? Huh? This Junker, where is he? I don't know. You heard about this Junker, but didn't hear where he might be? Let's just try one of the colonies. Whatever you say. Nice place. Food smells good, too. You see anything that could lead us to him? I mean, a sign or something? Nothing. This place seems too clean to have a junker. Look at these people. Robes, braided hair. That one guy looks like he's been meditating for the last year. Are you sure it was Tython that had the guy? Yes, we always heard stories on Lorda about Tython and how the people had the power to destroy anything. For good. Wait a minute. 
We came all this way, went through what we did based on a fairy tale you heard? It's not a fairy tale. People with powers, able to destroy anything. Are you serious? I've been serious this whole time. You know what I brought, and why I need to get rid of it. Which is bantha crap on its own, but adding this on top of it? You gotta be kidding me. Excuse me. How can we help you, Mr. Monk? You've come a great way, only to destroy. Were you listening to us? I've seen you. What? I've seen men and women like you come to Tython, looking for the same end. They believe we destroy, but look around you. We live. What the hell are you talking about? This object you want to erase. This pain attached to it. It cannot be junked. So... The stories weren't true. You can't help me. Well, I didn't say that. Please, follow me. Uh, wait a minute. We didn't come all this way to be handled by some grifter. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Port. They call me the blacksmith. Uh, how did he know your name? I have no idea. Good thing I brought my blaster. Yes, Kay. We have guests. Kay? That little droid over there. Came on six. He pilots my orbital freighter. Would either of you care for some tea? What's in it? <laughs> Gormushu berries. And of course, uh, hints of our newly cut herbs. Yeah, okay. You know, you're usually more of a jovial fellow, Mr. Port. How do you know his name? I'll tell you how. This guy's either Charter or a very talented con man. But no, 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 the jig is up, enlightened one. I know that's not his name. Who are you? Well, if I were a charter, it wasn't wise of you to follow me here, Gordon. How do you know me? I know about you, Jordan. Your last moment with him in the hyperdrive. He asked you something. Stop. Up. How could you possibly know that? I can feel it. What does that mean? Here on Tython, we see the galaxy. All of it. Telescopes? No, we see because we are. You, me, the trees, the air. We are the same. I can feel the conflict within you, Gordon. But also the innovation. What you've created is a miracle. It's not. Because of your brother's death? Careful with the next sentence, Monk. And you're not angry with me, Mr. Port, but with him. You see the potential of his work, but you don't know why he wants to destroy it. Details are a bit fuzzy, but that's not my business nor yours. I get that the kid's been through a lot. No, Duncan. You don't. At this point, I owe you the truth. It was a year ago, during my first test of the drive when Jordan and I made the jump out of light speed. Destination, Yavin, 4,500 kilometers, ahead. Woo! We made it! What's that noise? And that smell! Gordon! Oh no. What is it? The, um... The Quaxium Belt. It, um... It burst during the trip. Radiation is leaking from the cooling engines. That's bad, right? Well, um... I ran the scenarios and the calculations. It could blow up at any moment. If, um, if it drops temperature too fast, we're done. We have to slow it down? That's okay. We can, uh, we can slow it down. Get into the escape pod 
and we're good. It's oh god, it's on the other side of the ship, and the heat has to be expelled manually. Okay, we can't both escape unless that's done by a third person, and obviously that's not likely. Well, if that's how it has to be. What? My brother didn't hesitate. I woke up in the escape pod, alone. What? Where am I? What's your one? Gordon. Gordon, can you hear me? Oh no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Just listen to me. Okay, don't bother. It's deadlocked. Gordon, look at me. You're gonna be okay. Jordan, let me out right now. No, you said the blast can only be delayed manually. And that's okay. Next time you test this thing, <laughs> maybe you'll fix that. Next time? I slipped the schematic disc in your pocket. You have to keep this going. You have to, Gordon. No. Don't ever stop. Ever. Can you do that for me? Jordan. I love you, kid. Jordan, don't! I was shot thousands of thousands of miles away until... The ship burst. Like fireworks. I'm sorry. That means a lot, Miss Sarah. I mean it. Trust me, so do I. And so did they. It is tragic. You really been through it. Yeah. A couple days later, um, I was picked up by this cruiser owned by Debitantes. They ferried me to Moriden. That's why you want to destroy it. You think it was your fault that he died? It was. Gordon, we used the hyperdrive to get here, and it worked beautifully. We were lucky. No. The wormhole, the hyperdrive, we survived that. It's not luck, it's you. <laughs> me? It was me who nearly killed us. And it was me who killed Jordan. I'm done. Jordan doesn't want you to give up. What? Your brother, even now, still believes in you. What are you talking about? My culture. We believe that life and death are fraternal. And in that, there are those who have only left us physically. I don't understand. To put it simply, we... We continue. And he wants you to do just that. So you can talk to ghosts now. what I tell you, Gordon? A grifter. Gordon? Failure is stopping. Why are you so keen on helping us? It's our way. Uh-huh. Well, I'm still waiting for a good reason to keep my hand off my blaster, monk. You still haven't proven that you're not Charter. Master! Master! What is it, young one? Up in the sky. You have to see. Oh, no. Duncan? I see them. Four Charter war vessels. I thought you said you didn't pick up any signs of Charter in this area. I didn't. They must have used a different channel and frequency to make contact. I can feel them. These metal beings. They've come from your ship. The hyperdrive. We have to get to the way. Clear the village! <laughs> Youngling, get the villagers away, to the far fields of Melpahasku. Uh, and what are the other masters? They're here to heal the injured. We can help. You and Duncan are on a different path. Run to your ship. Save your device. Realize its true purpose. Monk, your people need all the help they can get. My people 
can defend themselves just fine, Mr. Port. Trust me. Go! Charter war buses. They're headed right for the ship. My ship. They, they destroyed the hyperdrive. Not exactly. Huh? Who the hell are you? Don't you recognize me, Port? What? Reza? You're... a droid? That's right. Alright, Gordo. I'll be taking those schematics. Oh, no. oh, let him go! One more step, his neck turns into my own personal stress ball. Throw the blaster down, Port. Good boy. Downloading hyperdrive schematics. Estimated completion, two minutes. Damn it. Like the new duds, courtesy of Augustus Roth himself. You let them do this to you? Strip away your body and encase your brain into this thing? I didn't let them do anything to me. I allowed them to make me better. That's what I just said, you idiot. Oh yeah? I'm the idiot? I'm fully upgraded, better than you ever were, and no one tells me what to do. Not you, the others, not Ra. Incoming transmission. Reza, do you have the hyperdrive? Along with the schematics. Downloading now. Then get back to the war vessel and overseas installation immediately. I need you here at Coruscant within five hours. But... But I have poor here, in my crosshairs. I've been waiting for this... Now! Yes. Brother... <laughs> What's so funny? Some things don't change. Still under while thinking you're on top, I see. Shut up! It's just so... expected. New body, new weapons, but still soft little resins. I'm warning you! Warning me? Look at you! You're not even allowed to enjoy the win! Despite all this, your beating me just proves that you are still low level. Ugh. How's this for a win? I take these schematics to Roth. We install them in this legion of war cruisers and conquer every planet we can find. Because guess what? We have a tool that will give us the automatic edge. And you think the Republic is going to just let you do this? The Republic? Coruscant's the first of our hit list. What? Why? Too many parking tickets? No. Just too many people there like you. So, what you're saying is... We need to get there before you. What? There's a reason? You don't give away your entire plan. Mr. Port. Monk. Huh? Oh, oh. Gordon. You okay? Yeah, just... <clears throat> arm... dislocated. You were shot. He only hit the metal parts. So, when you said you could defend yourself, you weren't kidding. It is our way. Uh, 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 they haven't left yet, though. No. But they will soon. Rot said that they needed the ships to meet in that Coruscant within five hours. But did Reza upload the schematics fully? I burn drive schematics upload. Good. That answers that.
that. Up there for four giant vessels, they're going to be installing the hyperdrive immediately. Probably started already since they're on the clock. You're not thinking of fighting them. No. No, but we need to get to Coruscant first. Warn the Republic about Rot's assault. Only way we're getting there is with the hyperdrive. Hold on. They took the schematics and the engine itself. How are we getting there? All the information is up here. I just need tools, a garage, and a craft. Wait a second. Kid, this idea of yours is life or death. I'll go alone. You can stay here and- No. All I've done for this past year is run. From everything. I'm here now. We both are. <laughs> Alright. Let's get to work. The bad guys had the hyperdrive. Wasn't that your worst nightmare come true? Of course. So, at that point, what kept you going? It wasn't the guilt that was already fading. And it wasn't the fear, which is crazy, considering what we were up against. What was it? It was my friend. Duncan? He reminded me a lot of Jordan. The whole time, part of me knew he was right. Me, you. We all have people like that who leave those impressions on us. Sounds like a good guy. Yeah, good. But very, very stubborn. I don't think excited is the word I would use. Did you double check the power complex like I asked? This is his ship. And I think he knows how to do simple maintenance. Uh-huh. Okay, is installation of the new hyperdrive complete? Sounds like you're ready to go. Yeah, with, um, 40 minutes to spare. Thank you again for making me see clearly. <laughs> you should be thanking yourself, Gordon. We here on Tython just hope. <laughs> right. You know, we could use one of those laser swords, Monk. I have something better for you, Mr. Port. What? Trust me. And good luck, boys. Take care of Kay. What did he whisper to you? He brought up my wife. What? How did he even know about her? I don't know. Well, what did he say? He said... You can rest easy knowing that Carmen is one with the Force. What, what does that mean? I don't know. Pretty snug in here. I'm not complaining. Entering Tython's exosphere... And there are the war vessels. Okay, let's run through this plan again. We... we had a plan? Yeah, we go to Coruscant and win the Republic, then, uh... Yeah, that's not a plan. Uh, okay, let's just take the first step, see where it goes from there. Okay, the motivator. Activated? That's yes. Alright then. Let's do this. Atomic batteries to power, turbines to speed, and... Five, four, three, two. What the? They all made the jump. They're in hyperspace. And so are we. It took me four hours to put together a small hyperdrive that is just functioning. How the hell did they install the engine so quick? Let alone make them! Those war cruisers aren't just filled with battle drones. They have huge garages and nearly unlimited resources. It's just not fair. Hyperdrive stability at 90%. Damage taken from initial jump. Non substantial. ETA to Coruscant. Arrival estimated in 4 minutes and 37 seconds. What's that noise? Notification. Tithonic orbital craft. 
40 kilometers behind war vessels too. And three, closing in on rudders. What? How could it possibly be catching? Locus. Subsequent course of action. Requested. Shoot them. I don't need any distractions when we begin our assault. Confirmed. Firing initiated. We're getting rising heat signatures coming from all four of the warship. Watch out! We can't keep this up. We have to eject from hyperspace. No, 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 no. We're almost there. We can make it. Kid, they are going to hit us if you don't stop. We're hit. Get us out. Fine. Okay, how are we looking? We're barely flying in one piece, but somehow the hyperdrive is still working. Alright, we can make repairs, but they have to be quick. Target successfully hit. Ejected from hyperspace. Very good. Estimated arrival? Arrival in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to Coruscant, gentlemen. Incoming transmission from Republic. Security Chief. Put them through. This is High Republic Chief Abrams, representing the people and offices of Coruscant. All your ships are to lower their shields and state your business. This is Augustus Roth of the Charter Corporation. Relay this message to your government below. I'm waiting. Waiting for what? Chief, I have four state-of-the-art war cruisers with multiple cannons aimed 7,250 feet below, and a very special device that will ensure my victory. I'm waiting for their surrender. And we made it. Coruscant. Very big ships. Okay, we're here, they were first. What's the next step of the plan? Uh, 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 got it. You still have access to Charter's local net, right? More or less. Then you could probably access files on their plan. What they're actually going to do with Coruscant. Worth a shot, at least. Operation June. What's that? Their plan. Roth is in his luxury cruiser, which is currently landing in Vessel 1. There he commands the other three. He'll order the ships to send probe droids with EMPs all over the surface, and in unison they'll activate. Causing the global blackout. There's more. Each war vessel is equipped with the hyperdrive, so once they're done here... They'll go to as many planets as they want. Why would he do this? He's crazy. What can we do about it? If I were on one of the ships, I could... possibly disable the hyperdrive engines and transmit the immobilized data through... the war vessel's shared servers, but... we still have to get on and, you know... not die. That's not a bad idea. Kay could cover for us by speaking with the drones, letting us in. Could say we're sanitation or something. Sanitation. On a 99.9% droid ship. Okay, it doesn't have to be sanitation. Yes! It can be engineering. That still leaves us with the EMP problem. We get in there, I can disable that. You're sure? Kid, every ship has a self-destruct button. Came on. Engineering class freighter. Requests docking permission on war. Vessel 1. No engineering requests have been submitted to local garage ports. The services are complimentary. K Mon, engineering class freighter. Establishes services are on the house. Docking permission granted. Remaining drones clear docking bay.
Identify. Identify. <laughs> I'm Duncan. That's Gordon. We're here to blow up your ships. If you're scared, go back in the ship. We need to hurry to the bridge. That is where Roth will have access to the other war vessel's hyperdrive data. What makes you think that? He wouldn't leave anyone else in charge of this. Have some faith. Faith? That's new. Bridge is on the third structure, and elevator's right around that corner, but we'll be seen right when we get up there. How about the stairs? How much further? You nerf hurt her. Incoming transmission from the Republic's High Command. The Supreme Chancellor? Negative. A Republic official named Valorum. Are they not taking this seriously? Put them through. Now hear this, Mr. Valorum. This Republic crumbles today. No matter how legitimate you find my threats, if you think I'm not a man of my word, you'll be pleasantly surprised, then destroyed but not by me, by your own failings as a government. Finally made it. Those stairs are more than unnecessary. Shh, there he is. Your planet of civility will be plunged into a new dark age, and the Republic will be all that's left to blame. Every wall torn down, brick by brick, from the people you claim to protect. Do you ask me why? Because you don't know what it's like to lose. Because you've bought and paid all the players on the board. Because you took my son! You took my son? I'm sorry I never reached out. What? I should have. Who is this? Dad. What did you say? It's me. June. What the hell? Keep an eye out. I'm gonna make way to the main console. No, 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 don't do that, no. Hide behind the computers. No, you are not my son. My son died. That's what they told you. I heard that later. Enough! June is dead. On Busan. You can make me carvel cookies with blue milk for my birthday. And when mom died, you sang to me every night. You sang about how I'd be safe. How could you know that? It was me, Dad. Almost there. Movement. Shit. Shit. J June? Yes. I am your son. It's been so long. Why did I never hear from you? They told me you were a criminal and that you died. Then, as the years passed, I forgot what you looked like. When Charter came out, I saw the new head of the company, and he looked familiar. June. I'm sorry. Dad, please don't do this. There are families down here. I know the Republic isn't perfect, but it is doing its best. I promise you. I... I, I, I don't. Movement. Almost there. June. Intruder found. Transmission terminated. Initiating operation. June. Yeah. June. No! Don't! Come on! 
on, baby. You know you want this. I told you, if you keep talking to me, I'm pulling out my knife. Oh, come on. Let's have a party. <laughs> hey, Gazoo! Why tell you about selling your crap in front of my pub, huh? Oh, come on, Ben. It's an honest living. <laughs> That's disgusting. No one wants your cheap death sticks. Hey, I'll have you know I have some high-paying clients in the Republic that'll... This is High Republic Chief Abrams. I'm ordering an immediate evacuation for all Coruscant citizens. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Everyone, get inside! Why would you do that? I didn't order you to initiate. Our prime directive was to ensure Operation June's initiation, especially while under threat of cancellation. I've heard enough. As for you, or wait! Ah! My wife wasn't enough, was she? You had to take her to a whole other world, huh? Duncan, stop! Us. It's over. It's done. No. No, it's not. Roth, how do we stop this? You can't. <laughs> the EMP is set for detonation. No matter what. The detonation is gonna blow. But where? What? If they're gonna blow up, can't we aim them somewhere else? Looking into their algorithm. 30,000 drones are flying down. But I have a hold of their directional matrix. Where do I send them? Here. Bring them back to the ships. There's only metal here. No harm done. 30,000 drones on four massive war vessels, and you think there won't be any damage? The ships will just drift until they get caught up into Coruscant's orbit, and then you'll really leave an impact. Not if the ships are long gone. The hyperdrive. Bring back the drones and then shoot them off to the middle of the galaxy. It's possible, but we have about 15 minutes to do this. Setting the ship's new coordinates now. Duncan, bring them back here. On it. New heading established. Proceeding towards Charter War Vessels 14. Drones are starting to pack back up. Good. New coordinates are set. What's, what's wrong? He just realized that his plan only works if someone stays behind to monitor all three ships' hyperdrive levels. What? They were piloted here by drones. We can program them to do it again. We don't have time for that. I'll stay. Kid, when those EMPs go off, everything in these ships shuts down, including life support. You're not an option. I know the hyperdrive the most. I am the best judge on this. No, Gordon. I'm staying. Oh, wow. What a hero. My son is down on that planet. I am not letting anything happen to him again. You are not getting out of this that easy. He's right. You are a cold, vengeful egomaniac. But... I understand your guilt. You'll see your son again, Roth. I'm staying. All right, kid. It's your plan. If this is how it ends, it's how it ends. Thank you. Okay, I'll contact K. <laughs> are, are you? What? Relax, prick. It's set on stun. Take him to our droid ship down in Hangar Bay One. Gonna be mad as all hell when he wakes up. Why does that keep happening? <sighs> what did he say? He said, good morning. Duncan? Oh, God. Where are you? Still on the bridge. No, 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 not again, not again. It's okay, kid. At this point, you should be flying down through Coruscant's atmosphere. I downloaded as much of the hyperdrive data as I could. I'll be able to keep an eye on the levels. How much time we got, Roth? 60 seconds until EMP blast. Please. Don't do this. Just following your brother's example. Smart guy. 
Smarter than he probably gave himself credit for. Listen to me. The machine part of you that's kept you alive this long is automatically going to shut off when the EMP goes off. You are going to die. I know, kid. But I have her to look forward to. Trust me. Before you go, Mr. Port, I'm sorry for it all. In the end, I was a man, Roth. Not yours. Oh, God. Duncan, I'm sorry for this. No more guilt, Gordon. Just get back into the garage and do your thing. Make your brother proud. That's my cue. Making the jump to light speed in five, four, three, two, and lift off. He's gone. Where are the ships headed? Just near Corellia. His home. Almost there. Come on. Carmen, baby. I'm almost there. She knows, she knows. Mr. Port. Mr. Port. That you, Monk? Back with those spooky swindler's tricks? <laughs> Always, always. Tell me, is she looking forward to seeing me again? More than anything. All right, let's do this. Corellia, then a while. Ejected from hyperspace. Initiating operation. Two and five. Four, three, two, one. All right. How did you notice that the coordinates for Corellia? Pardon? You didn't know that Duncan would sacrifice himself like that. How come you chose to send the war vessels just outside of his home world's orbit? It was... the only planet I could think of. How did you feel when Duncan did that for you? I thought that I would feel the same way. The same way that I did when Jordan died, but... I mean... The circumstances were almost beat for beat. It was uncanny. But I felt pride for both of them. Do you think it was growth? Whatever it was, it was easier. That's good. Yeah. So what happened when you got down to Coruscant? Oh, well, that... The planet below was pretty shaken up about what happened above. Which is why we went directly to the Republic capital of Coruscant, where we were met by 20 guards and Roth's kid. Hereby surrender myself and assets to the High Republic of Coruscant. Do you accept? I do, Dad. Take him. Glad to see you, Mr. Roth. We were waiting so long for your surrender. Good job, son. Press showed up not too long after. June was good enough to hide me from all that. Met with him in his office a couple hours later. Got them to leave. Never do an interview with 30 journalists, Gordon. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I'm sorry about your friend. He did a great service for Coruscant. Yeah, but was it worth it, though? 
Sounds like your dad was right about a couple parts of the Republic. We're not perfect. The men who took me from my father weren't perfect. I know this. It's why I fight every day to keep the Republic from turning into what my dad feared. As for your friend, I checked his records. It sounds like he helped whoever, wherever. So, to him, it probably was worth it. <laughs> yeah. By the way, just came from the Supermax facility we have here. Talked to my father. He wanted me to give you this. Nice schematics. For this hyperdrive I've heard about. Sounds incredible. I heard you wanted to destroy it. I... did. That's too bad. We could have done some great work together. What do you mean? Well, the Republic's obtained all my father's assets, including Charter. We're gonna recycle what's left of the technology, vehicles. New age of transport. It would have been a great help. Anyway, it was great meeting you, Gordon. Get home safe. Mr. Valorm? Yes? Duncan... Duncan wasn't the only one who helped me realize that destroying these schematics... That destroying them would do more harm than good. There's this group of shamans on Titan. These... <laughs> these wizards. They also help me. If we work together, and if we use this hyperdrive so that the Republic could meet them, they could help more people. Hmm. What's their name? I actually didn't catch their name. Not the best salesman, are you? <laughs> um, no, I, um, I invent things. Okay. Are you sure about this? After everything you've been through? June. Failure is stopping. And that was that. What's it feel like to save the day? Sleep. <laughs> Finally got that out of you. Didn't see that coming. Well, I think that's all I need. Very entertaining story, Mr. Locust. You're, um, you're leaving? Unless you remember where you know me from. My publisher will notify your desk when the article is out. Oh, and thanks for the tea. Yeah. Mr. Roth? Yes? There is something else. You certainly know the spot to take a girl to. It's kind of perfect, isn't it? Yeah. This interview, I didn't expect it to go where it did. And where's that? Here. I haven't opened up this way in years. It's always just been someone else's story, one after another. Well, you are a good listener. The reason I wanted to do this interview wasn't because I need attention or need people to know me. Honestly, it was... It was for you. Me? I, uh, I, I don't understand. This is going to be a lot. Mr. Locus, what are you talking about? You and I have met before, Miss Sarah. And I know exactly when and where it was. After my brother died, 
and I was saved by that debutante ship. I met someone. A little girl that was just picked up from Dressel. He was in the cargo area. She was hiding from, I guess, the emptiness. I asked for her name and I remembered it. She told me that she was so sad to leave her family behind and she was surprised to hear that I was going through something similar. Oh my god. We traveled together for five days, but right before I was dropped off at Meriden, we promised each other to let go. Of the guilt? Yeah. That was you? How did you find me? I've looked for years and years. And now I can tell you that whenever the guilt came back, remembering you flushed it away. But why not tell me before the interview? I needed you to know my story and how I got back to you. Plus, I love a good challenge and nothing is harder than making you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna give me a hug or what? <laughs> Ah, I'd love you to meet my friend, Kmon6. I've heard a lot about you. He's happy to hear it. You got those new schematics for me. A new disc? A new invention. Took some inspiration from an old friend. Anyway, Kay and I were going to go to the opening of that new Tythonic temple downtown. But I think I got a better idea. Oh, really? How would you, Jill Sarah? like to go see Dressel again. <laughs> really? You are talking to the creator of the hyperdrive right now. You can be back home in less than an hour. <laughs> well, I just got off work, so I'm free. So, these new schematics, anything you could scoop me on? Ever the reporter. You said it was based off Duncan. Mm -hmm. Human and cyborg relations. It's a protocol droid. Gonna send them everywhere, and they'll be able to speak with anyone. How many languages? I was thinking initially six million, but that might not be enough. That sounds exciting, Mr. Locus. <laughs> Mr. Ra, do me a favor. Call me Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>